Me and father walked away in five Hell of a dad thing Oh, 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 oh Confused, always felt you weren't black enough Afraid to do it cause your fro wouldn't nap enough oh, oh, oh. And if you yeah. didn't know, now you know we doing the Pusha T diss track, the story of Adidon. Story of Adidon. Oh, hang on, we, we jungle beats. What's up? I'm uh, Sedbar Stewart. I'm Alexander Sandalis, and uh, we did the Drake Duppy freestyle, which was nice, good. You yeah. know, he has, he has some great lines in that. Um, we coming back here. Yeah, and we just saw the, the cover, the covers, a white guy with a black face. Mm -hmm. Like a clown. So is he saying that Drake's hiding behind a white man's skin? Like, because he doesn't do anything for, like, culture? Bro, that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty good, like, um, estimation. Because, because, because obviously Drake wears these black, I think, pretty, pretty proud, but he doesn't really do many songs about, you know, black appreciation. It is true. Black on black violence. He, he has lives, but he doesn't have songs based on it compared to a lot of art. So maybe Push has been, like, for someone with your stature and fame... You really haven't, like, you're living a very white lifestyle. You know, that's a great, you know, point to start off with. Yeah, I think it's a, I know exactly what the cover means, but I've, I've said how I think I feel on it. So I guess we'll find out after this track if it's a different meaning to it. Here we go, man. That's what I'm here for. Get the lyrics out for this one. The story of Adidon. Let's get it. I hope it's over a Drake. Jay-Z, baby. Story of OJ. Oh, Easy sorry, money. Man. Go, I want to say that again. Right, let's listen to it again, bro. We need that, and I'm I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna pull up the lyrics while I listen to it. And then, like, it's funny because the, in the song, like the sample saying ah, "my skin is black," but he's saying this song that although Drake is half black, he's more white. Yeah, he's saying that in the song. Yeah, right? but it's so fitting that in, right. in that is saying right. that my skin is black. Or even just that. Look at the layers. Oh, so the Jay Z blessing on top of that. <laughs> Fuck me. I saw a funny comment which makes sense now. Someone was like, "Push it, called Nardwa for this one." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck bro, he knows some shit that... Have I'm, we ever heard this shit? I've never heard this shit. Should, let's start from the beginning. We'll talk about these things when we get to it in the lyrics. Okay, first I just want to talk overall. Mm. Again, the delivery of Pusha's lines, mm. bar for bar, it just fucking hits you in every part of your body. Pusha T is one of the best deliverers in the game in terms of ending a bar. He just knows how to end a line with just so much emphasis and impact. <sighs> Alright, you, you just mentioned the ones you think worth mentioning. Okay. So probably nearly all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, re I like the reference to the, I uh, started at the home front, I'm on one, a reference to his... Because uh, yep. his his I'm on one. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny before as well with the Drake this when you mention, I don't know why he's talking about being an old because Jay-Z's one of the greatest and now Jay-Z's blessed him with this. Exactly. So it's like, hey, Jay-Z fucks with me, Drake. He said his dad left him when he was five. You mentioned wedding... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, your father walked away at five. Hell of a dad thing. But I, but Drake always like mentions like his dad's on More Life. He's the cover of More Life. Right. His Drake's Drake's dad's in one of his videos. Like so, I thought they would have had a good relationship, but that he was with him most of his life. But it sounds like they had a lot of trouble to begin with. So Drake has 
reference like previous like um, problems with his parents having like marital problems and like, mm. but never never on that detail. Um, and marriage is something that Sandy never had. Sandy is, is Drake's mother. So he was mm. getting deep and personal. Very personal. It's weird because Drake wasn't that personal. Drake was more about, it was personal level of professionality within the music business, but then Push has gone, I'm going to take this to our lives and our deepest, darkest secrets. You probably don't want no one to hear. And you talk about, remember the cover you talked about at the start? Confused, always felt you weren't black enough, afraid to grow it because your fro wouldn't nap enough. enough. Mm. Like, break that down. How you, you know, go ahead, break that down in a summary of how you could see that. I feel like it's saying how it is. It feels like Drake definitely tries to portray that he does a lot for black culture, that he lives black culture. He wears it, wraps it, but in the end of it, like, he really doesn't do heaps for it in terms of like with the stuff that happens within it. Um, and also when he's saying his hair's not happening enough, like Drake doesn't grow his hair very much at all. It's always fairly short. I think that Push is saying he's probably scared to grow it because it might grow in a way that might make him look less black. So he kind of, I think he's saying that Drake's doing everything to try and look as black as possible, but really he doesn't, he really isn't black. And uh, good lines, man. We, we, we let's break, um, since you name job my fiance, let her know who you chose as chose as your Beyonce. Do you mm-hmm. know who cho- he chose his Beyonce? No. A porn star. Not that it's a bad thing. It's the porn star. Line. But the her name's Sophie Broussard or something. Mm-hmm. A former porn star, and apparently she was pregnant, right? And this is they claim that the following conversation happened over text. Drake, I want you to have an abortion. This is Drake saying, I want you to have an abortion. Sophie. 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 I can't kill my baby simply to indulge you. Sorry, Drake. Indulge me? Fuck you, Sophia. What? You do know what you're doing. You think you're going to get money? That's Drake. So basically, it's like unconfirmed whether Drake, you know, is the father of this child. But um, based on... You'll find out when he replies. She gave birth in October 2017. So, really? Yeah. Uh, in, in, in France. Hence, Push's line about border control. How the fuck does Pusha know of this? Push it, dude. When you're rich and you have money and you're big in the music business, just make a few calls. People can dig dirt, man. <laughs> Push feels like if Drake's the new J, then Sophie's his Beyonce. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then, then, then we. Well, she said she has a kid, but then also he says the fact about your dad left when you were five, but you're going to do the same thing for your kid. Like he was saying Holy that shit. he was like, you, you're not, you're, you, you're making your album. You're not there for your kid at all. You were hard in a child. Let that boy come home. Deadbeat motherfucker playing Border Patrol. Oh, Ooh. man. Do you think Push is out of, out of line with this one, though? Because Drake came at him from a musical perspective. Like, did Pusha have reason to come at him in this manner? Know, I'm not... No, I don't think so. I think, like... I don't know. I'm not really bought on the fact that there's really lines to cross. Like, this is music... This is hip hop. You're free you to take, do what you want. I mean, kind of, yeah. I mean, it's up to you how professional you want to be That's and a good your point. self-respect. That's a good point. It's all subjective. I, I don't want to like. I feel like if oh, we're gonna stay in a little cushy, safe zone. I feel like that's soft. I feel like hip hop has grown on the roots of hard knocks and gr- and grind and cutthroat kind of um environment. Yeah, well, and once I'll, it got to the gangster period, of right? Things, it's, yeah, it's, push it embodies that. Um. Adonis is your son, and he deserves more than Adidas press run. That's real. I think that's how the name of the song Adidon came about. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure Adidon is Drake's, Drake's um, what he's doing with Adidas, because he's doing his own line with them. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Drake is rumored to be joining Adidas in June 2018. Yeah. The new Adidas line was reportedly titled Adidon yeah, yeah. after his son. But Drake has never said he's got a son, has he? If he hasn't, I didn't hear it. I mean, that could be Sophia's um, child, right? Their alleged son. Fuck, man. And then he kind of empowers Drake. It's really like he goes at him, but then he's like, man, love that baby. Respect that girl. Forget she a porn star. Let her be your world. Yuck. Kind of like, man, just do you. Mm. Love the wordplay here. How dare you put yay in my verses? I'm selfish. I want all the curses. I'm mm. pre-booking the churches. Me versus three hearses. And when he says, I want all the curses, that also goes back to the Duppy free stuff because Duppy is the curse. 
Oh. Malevolence. So malevolent spirits. So it very... also goes throws back to that. So it's a really good line. That's very clever. So he's kind of saying that also like what Drake has done is a blessing to him because it keeps giving him more chances to shine and do more. And just keep, you know, growing his fan base and presence. And I got the devil flow, nigga 666. Oh, Another man. reference there. I love that line. That's so good. And they have the 666 in the background, which is which the tag he puts on views. And then the, the last thing he finishes on, um, I want to see what it's like when you get angry. Mm -hmm. and right, And you're right. We never really seen Drake get angry. But it's funny though, because you didn't mention that at the very start of the song, Pusha says he was angry. Ex yeah, exactly. But <laughs> that's a very good point. So it's actually quite contra contradictory. Contradic well, hold on. Let's maybe break down the context of what that, if you want to actually go there. You, for the past few years, been angry and full of lies. So maybe angry and full of lies. So I mean, Oh, so that, no, no, actually that makes sense. Because if he says your music's been angry, but full of lies, so maybe you're saying you being angry is the lie. And he wants to really see him be angry. Oh, th I think that's what he means. Because you know how like a lot of Drake's music, like he'll have like the soft Drake, but he'll also have the harder hitting Drake. Maybe he's saying that the harder hitting angry Drake is just a fate. Like just like him pretending so he can sell it to that fan base. He's saying like, I want to see you really be angry. I want to see you not pretend it. And okay, I feel mm. like Pusher right now has the one up on Drake because he got so personal and he's revealed details about Drake that could be potentially true that most of the world didn't know about. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, a lot of people didn't know about. So right now for me, if we compare bar for bar, song to song, pushes on top because he went further. Mm -hmm. How does how do you see it? Uh, it's so hard because they're just complete different disses, man. Like Drake's tackling him from a totally different perspective. So I, I, I think it's kind of unfair to say who's done it better when Drake hasn't released a diss back along this same level. Okay. Because Drake was really addressing like the fucking mm. Quentin Miller shit. And I feel like if Pusher addressed back in the same manner, then... I could have I could have chosen whose this was better, but because Pushes is on a whole nother level, exactly. We have to wait for for Drake I, to reply. I if, think that's the answer right there. You just said it a whole nother level. But it's, it has nothing to do though with it. It's pretty much Pushes being like, "Oh wait, you're gonna diss me? I'm gonna bring up all this other shit." So I think it's unfair to say that Pushes destroyed him until Drake comes back. And what if Drake comes back with this where he reveals things about Pushes that we didn't know Very about? Very good him? point. So I refuse to choose who won yet until Drake. No, comes back. it's not a who won yet. It's just like. It's a race right now, right? Oh, but right now at the moment, Pusha's diss is better. Yeah. Um, in terms of like what they're saying and the way that they've worded things, yeah. I feel like Pusha's had a lot more meaning, a lot more double meanings on there. But don't get it wrong. P uh, Drake did. Oh, Drake's diss Drake's is great. Drake's is great That's still. a good song. They're, they're, both good, they're both good songs. They're both good disses, but I think Pusha does have the better. And it's clear while the world is uh, getting juicy about this. Oh man, I love, this is great. This is, this is why we love hip hop, man. Exactly. This is why we love hip hop. <laughs> Pusha T is just the fucking perfect guy for this, man. It's the longest single review ever. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's, it's Fuego, bro. It's Fuego. It's Fuego. You got any more to add? No. There you have it. We're waiting on Drake's next response. We'll try to get onto as quick as we can. I uh, hope you dug what we're doing. Stay tuned. We yeah. Do beats. Drake released a statement about his blackface photo. Drake responds to the blackface image in question. Here we go. I know everyone is enjoying the circus, but I want to clarify this image in question. This was not from a clothing brand shoot or my music career. This picture is from 2007, a time I laughed when I was an actor. And I was... So it's actually him. That's him? That's him. The photo is actually him. So he's pushing to find that. That's crazy. What the fuck? So he wore blackface as a black person. A time of life where I was an actor and I was working on a project that was about young black actors struggling to get roles, being stereotyped and typecast. The photo represented how African Americans were once wrongfully betrayed in entertainment. Me and my best friend at the time, Mazin Ellis D, was also an actor from Sudan, we attempted to use our voice to bring awareness to the issues we dealt with at the time as black actors and auditions. I'm going to add this to the end of the Drake video, so let's just... Yeah, yeah. So we'll keep that. So I'm doing this time reading now. Yeah, I'm talking to Mike. Just keep going. This was to highlight and raise. Oh, so I'm on. Fuck it. Yeah. This was to highlight and raise our frustrations with not always getting a fair chance in the industry, and to make a point that the struggle for black actors had not changed much. Huh. That's crazy. That's crazy that um, that that picture's actually Drake. I thought it was like something from a fucking. It didn't look like him. No, but we go back. Go back to it. The photo. Yeah. I don't know how to fucking find it. Uh, don't worry then. Maybe it's here. Either way, is that Drake just covering it up or well, is that Drake telling the truth? Well, no, I, that sounds like a pretty detailed description. I don't see why he would lie about that publicly. But that then goes to show that the accusations of, of Drake not doing anything for black culture, well, he did it 11 years ago, right? It was a while ago, but he, he's, he's 
That's really interesting. He's he's kind of played a small part and trying to. Oh, he's he's done a lot because like him him being as big as he is is doing a lot for black culture. Yeah, but in but terms is, of but I meant like in terms of like when very explicit, direct kind like, of yeah. symbolic gesture. Like when there's shootings or when there's brutalities or when other things going on, he doesn't. He, he talks about it, but he doesn't release like big tracks about it. Like he doesn't have to, man. But oh, of course he doesn't have to, but a lot of bigger artists do. That adds some clarity, though. That adds some That's clarity. really interesting. Well, Tim Brick shit, I'm cooking it. Tell him that I love the crib.